why can't I see this man? Well, it's because it's dark. Because my child's asleep in the other room trying to keep it on the down low. But we are playing 40k Warp Forge. This is the digital collectible card game um, of 40k. Uh, there is a 30k digital collectible card game, but that's mostly on mobile. You can't play it on Steam. It's actually really good. I do like it. I play it. It's uh, Horus Heresy Legions. I do enjoy that game. But this is the demo for Warp Forge. We're going to go into the draft mode. And I want orcs. No goddamn orcs. <laughs> um, I like having random marks. Just I like the marks. Let's do chaos with marks. The marks seem so strong. So there are four different marks you can give. Each one is pretty significant buff. And a lot of units respond well to being buffed. They have yeah, synergies like this. After receiving mark chaos, one attack, one health. Mark chaos mark. This guy is so good. Possessed champion. So I think I do want Possessed Champion. Let's grab Possessed Champion. It's okay. It's pretty good. This late game stuff. Or the Obliterator and Hell Root. Plague Marine itself is pretty good. Get a Mark of Slanesh. I'm which one Slanesh is. Two melee, two range. So you get beefier, but your HP doesn't improve that much. I think this one... I'm gonna go with the Impure Resilience. It seems really good. Getting that Plague Marine and a couple late game options as well. Your Warlord and Troops of Mark Chaos are invulnerable. That could be really strong. Chosen, solid. Champion, solid. Disgustingly Resilient is pretty good. Execution's really, really good. Chaos Sergeant, Traitor's Hate, and the Terminator. I like having the Venom Crawler, I like having Execution. Another execution. Mark chaos. Draw two cards. Extra, extra card draw. And just a, a regular dude. Another plague marine. Some AOE clear and the breaker decay. Breaker decay is pretty good. I can get a second one of those. That's actually pretty limping. The warp talon can be insanely strong. The warp talon has flying. So in case you don't know, I'm just kind of like diving into this because I've done a video on warp forge before. In case you don't know, the structure of the card should look generally familiar to people that have played any card games before. You have your resource cost up here, HP down here. This is the attack, but split into melee or ranged. If a unit attacks melee, they you know, trade melee damage. If they attack range, they trade range damage. So the warp talent has no range attack, so if it's attacked ranged, it will not retaliate. If it does get attacked melee, though, it retaliates by six. However, it is flying, so it cannot be attacked melee, except by other flying units, which aren't like a ton. Give armor one. Armor is really strong in this game. Uh, what else do we have? Possession. The possessed marine flank is really good. This also comes to warp town. Yeah, can you maybe go to this one? Because we're trying. We don't need so many late game cards. Because if we can build beefy regular guys just with a bunch of marks, then we don't need late game cards. Um, that could be insane amount of damage if we hit hey, just town. There's no town in this game. When you draw a card, gain a mark of Zinch. A mark of Zinch, I think, is the two health. Yeah, so that's really good if he survives. Uh, kind of trash, though. Iskador. Okay, Kaon. Create a random black legion strategy. Well, that's fun. Another bringer to Kay. Another Muller Fiend. Another Abaddon's chosen. I think what the Hound of Abaddon's could really gain. Yeah, these are just solid. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Another set of that. Heal 5, deal 2 damage. Life of Agony seems like really good. Chaos Spawn's pretty basic. Blizzard's this is some good control. Take the control. We have a couple more drafts here. More marks. I could. Actually, you know what? I think I will take a Rupert Marine. Give stealth. This one's not bad at all. This one's okay. Ooh, I like. I like these though. Okay, lots of three costs. Um, Hound, Chosen Possession, Terminator, Host Chosen. I want really to skip that three or four if I can. Yeah, okay, I want the Rubik Marine. I think this is what I want, because I want that Rubik Marine. Because he can, if I play him off too, I can buff his health. If he doesn't get removed, then we'll just keep buffing himself. And that seems extremely appealing to me. Now, last draft. More just marks of chaos. 
Black Legionary, more Marks of Chaos. I want that Black Legionary, I think. Yeah, we don't need our three cost. I want a two cost. Dark Oratory is good, but I want that Legionary. Okay, what a goofy. One third of my deck costs three. So if it costs three, like everything's gonna cost three. I can cycle your entire hand that costs three, because you'll probably draw another three cost. Yep. Try to get the Legionary out. But I don't want to play a Legionary, because he's just gonna die. So I can't really play a Legionary until turn three. He's not gonna be useful until turn three, because he'll just. Your Warlord. Most Warlords are 2 2. So a two health unit normally just gets executed by the warlord unless you have some way to stop that. Door. That's a pretty good talent. Actually, draw a card and buff it. Please use the melee attack if it's all equal because the animation is just a lot faster. Three. You can go in there and do some damage. Yeah, okay, let's do that. I don't want him buffing any of this nonsense at all. I don't trust it. Just get it out of there. Now you can execute this for free, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay just slowing things down. Because once we start getting some marks out and buffing things, we should be doing pretty good. Oh boy, the mobs. We don't have any AoE. The green tide is a real problem. We don't have any AoE. We do have AoE. And I don't I wanna I wanna make him choose one of these. Make sure I can do get more chaos, not worth the chaos. I'll just keep two spawns out. You can kill one for free, but that means there's another one standing up, which I could use to try to gain some tempo, potentially. Uh, enemies have vulnerable one means after they take damage, they take one additional damage. And also, talent card cards that say talent mean they generate whatever card is here. Oh, well, he did have to deal with it. But that's something I get to kill for free, so I'm not too mad about it. Oh my god, he stopped with the grunts. The friggin' grunts, dude. Okay, so just take this thing down. Pew pew. Uh, I want the Rubik Marine to be buffed. If he survives, he's gonna keep getting stronger and stronger. Oh no, you're a you're you're a big you're a big boy. Friendly troop dies, gain a mark of Nurgle. Three, four, five, you become a Nurgle mark. Or enemies have vulnerable one. Three, four, not good enough. I can. Five. Three, four, five. Alright, here's. It sucks because you're gonna die. But you're just gonna have to die. Let your hate fester. I'm gonna give you a mark. Okay. That's annoying. I don't want to take seven here, but I want to maintain control of the board as much as possible. F 
Vexecutor, nice name. I'm kind of scared. We're actually not in a very good spot. I have not great cards in my hand. Um, my next turn might be pretty weak. Oh, we have low attack power on board. Like, these aren't the, the Chaos Mark targets I was really going for. You control vehicle game Vanguard, so he has Vanguard. Unstable one means I think they just blow up. Yeah. Well, destroy a random friend. Destroy a damaged enemy troop. I'm happy with that. Five, six, seven. Let's make them vulnerable. Maybe now perish. Now if I hit you, you take one less and then one damage. So if you hit one, two. Hit you for three, you take two, three. Sick. Oh, I should have played the chosen. Ugh, my bad. I should have actually played the mark so the three, two. Just buff this plague marine probably. Buff his health so he's not so vulnerable. Because he doesn't have his Mark and Nurgle yet. Give me more HP on my Rubric Marine. I love. I don't really like the Zinch like faction that much for for Chaos Marines, um, like Thousand Suns. But I do the Rubric Marines. I actually do love. I love their design. Give a random mark. If you get the plus two plus two. Oh my God! You get disgustingly resilient. It is actually disgusting. I'm gonna put a random mark on you. Try to get you do more damage. Oh my goodness, we're only... We're not doing damage ever. Okay, let's just give you all the armor that's ever existed. So now you can just punch things and take no damage ever in return. Yeah, that seems pretty good to me. Okay, now finish them off. Probably should have done that with the... That was actually, once again, bad play. Should have done it with the Marine that's actually vulnerable. Just getting, like, one shot. I would love to buff your attack. He has so much Nurgle and Zinch, but he has no attacks. I haven't rolled any attack buffs. If I roll an attack buff, he's unkillable. Yeah, it's not going to last long. You're also not going to last long. Shoot him. Don't know how to kill this without taking the unnecessary damage. No, hey, I right, can just kill him. What are you talking about? Don't be stupid. Alright, we can execute him. We're fine, we're fine. We're fine, everything's fine. Do here. Let's just punch you. Execute. This dude in the head. They're all dead. We play a sorcerer. Yeah, we can just play a sorcerer. Set our powers down. Do extra damage to them. Now yeah, we're firmly in control. The seven armor, 14 health, 2 3. And this guy's making everything take one extra damage for all eternity.
Alright, second turn. Is it the same dude? It's the middle of the night, so we might be queuing uh, against like the same guys. <laughs> it is Fexecutor again. Alright, rematch. See if we can just knock this dude out with a Q all by ourselves. If our Chaos Marines can can swipe away these orcs. Oh, this is a bad hand. Uh, not a great hand. Do I actually play the hound? Because he can survive a turn of damage. Which then lets me put a mark on him to then heal him. Oh boy, it's a lot of grunts. I don't like that at all. Because uh, the orcs can have... Not this boss specifically, but orcs in general have... Yeah, buff cards. I buff all your boy cards. And he's getting boys. Give Mark a Chaos Random Mark. If I give him a mark, heal one, attack, heal, not good enough. I can. Just play that. Oh, the man's only helpful. Okay, it was the heal. Now we have to take out one of these grots. I do I just throw away a chaos spawn? Or I can give him plus two health, you go up to four, you go up to five, one, two, three, four, five, you have to throw everything against this. If I get a mark of Zinch on this guy. Especially because I can make sure one of those things doesn't get buffed. I'm not sure if that was a great number of cards. So it's two mark. No, it's one mark in a siege. So it's two cards, so we're getting like the equivalent of one or two cards out of it. So not really that impressive, I suppose, but I did force him to get in there. But we don't have one damage AoE, so I don't think that was a smart play. I don't think that really worked out for us. The mobs, too, we don't have. The only AoE we have is to summon the, the, the chaos spawns. And this thing, which we obviously can't play for a while. Okay, you there. Just get buffed. Cause that's the character card I had just sitting around. Oh, for despite having a deck that's literally one third three costs. Like so it's over thirty percent, three or less. Uh we have a very expensive hand. There's a mob, it's the mob skill where like when other units attack, it triggers. If he had any mobs, it could have been very, very dangerous, but he, he doesn't. So we just have to play you, and then I just have to punch you. Not really, not much choice, not much elegance in that turn. Is it ephemeral? No. Yes. Finish off with your warlord. That keeps your tank alive, which is annoying, but whatever. Which then forces me to waste my warlord attack to kill his tank. So that's a smart play, I like that. Oh my goodness, I'm getting so much. Oh, my trash. Why are my hands so trash? Could just smite one. Do I need to smite one? Honestly, my hand's so garbage, it might be useful. I just got the 6-6. Six, six. Five seven. Does he ever not kill us? No. 
But I always play this. So I think Unholy Smite. Later might be useful. One each run. You don't have Market Chaos. Why do you cost one less? This costs one less for each Market Chaos. I don't have any Phantom Crown. Oh, duh, because this makes it cost one less. The stratagem still counts. Okay. Duh. Gretchen's. <laughs> well, good thing he's gonna blow up. And he, he's done what? This madman is. Okay, so aggro for no reason. Oh, I guess because now he has a bunch of vanguard to defend it, but still. Okay, I like this. Five, six, seven, three. Unfortunately, I have to smite it. I think. So you have to smite it, you have to smite it. Deal to a random enemy, that's so bad. Why does it say random? That's horrific. It is miserable. I've never been more offended in my life. It's like, random enemy this card's so bad I thought it was okay but it's actually so bad unless you have a I mean, if you have a ton of marks of chaos then at least it's cheap I thought it was just deal six damage oh that's a bad card I don't like that mm. Moving. okay a bunch of sluggles so I'm gonna be cheeky and just attack my warlord again try to get me low Means I need to be careful about attacking my warlord because we're getting. Hit it with the random. Dang it. <laughs> yes, I think I lose now. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. Oh my goodness. If I just had. Why can't I reset? Oh. My curve's so low. That's just terrible draw. It's fine, fine. Because we are going to want, we do want an Aspiring Champion. And Disgustingly Resilient is really, really strong. If we have, like, an Aspiring Champion or something. Like what are with these hands that are so expensive? We will not fail. We are Ultramarines. Getting my high end at the beginning of the game. This is really killing my draws. If I can get a three cost, that lets me stabilize. Then we have four, five, six. Maybe we have some decent turns. There we go. Problem is, oh wait, we can mark it. Yeah, okay. okay. I should give you the Marcus Inch right away. That way he's going to survive. He's going to start gaining health. We can deal with a disgusting resilient. He's going to have so much armor. I was caught from Greenwich and born with a rifle in hand. 
Okay, Mr. Antaro. Whatever you say. Okay, so you have two. I can give you two armor. Three, you want two, you'll take. You can take two damage. And still be survivable. Or I can just develop an aspiring champion. I'm just going to develop the aspiring champion. I'm okay with this. But the aspiring champion can also get very, very powerful. Here. That's actually perfect. So I play this. Now he's dead. And he's dead. And although I don't buff the aspiring champion, just maintaining control is still really good. And having this suit develop is really, really nice. of possession and then another mark. It's kind of weak. It's like a weak turn. Yo, I can smite him. Do I, do I dare smite him? This costs one less. I just mark you. I'm just gonna not play the stupid. It's such bad. Just a bad card, isn't it? Uh, let's put out the. Let's put out the obliterator. Just better use of our. Better use of our energy. Former tech marine corrupted and become a mutant hybrid of man, machine, and demon. I always love the obliterator like art. See, so we're gonna air strike me now. There it goes. So peculiar. Okay. I'm just gonna kill you. 
Ping, ping. I then play. New. And I'll just buff, buff you. You can buff. What do we get? Give you Vanguard. That's fine. That's the more corn course, extra melee attack, and Vanguard. Now he's probably dead here, but Space Marines actually have a fair amount of direct damage, so it's not impossible they can just kill him. No Poke, I don't think he can now. That's a good play. He triggered the Codex Marines Codex skill. Uh, when you use up all your energy, that triggers whatever their Codex skill is. Deal two to four damage. Okay. But I could also just possess strike him. Because I can't kill him. Five, six, seven, no. This does, hold on, that can target. Oh, he just did. Bam, I didn't realize that that could target the commander. So it's like a little better to target the commander. Literally half the deck costs three or less. I don't know why. These are my draws. Oh, this is a pile, okay, it should be easy match. Stone boys, flying interesting units, flying melee. Because you can only shoot the flyers. Unless you self are flying. under no pressure. Actually does mess me up. Oh, nope, there you go. You, 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 you played something. Oh, it's freaking Makari. You know what? I'm fine by that. That's me strike you for almost no penalty. Gain some power. I'm actually gonna buff it and give it some regen. So a 7, 2, 6 regenerating. It's pretty, it's pretty solid. Stat line. Not a concern. Camouflage means you can't target them with spells. Okay, still not scared. So I can just throw out... Actually, you know what? I want the... Master possession now. I can start targeting, potentially just target my car repeatedly with the spells from here. Oh, every time it attacks, it gets stronger. This is, this is so, such a good card. A slug of blindness, free slug of blindness hands. It's a pretty cool card. Oh, so we just make him insanely big. Alright, try and play on my turn here. I think first I'm actually going to do this. Nine. 
Then I'm just going to do this. So you hit for 19. And then I just win the game. Okay. Goofy card. It's a goofy card. Ooh, another Abaddon. Says champion so strong on that. It's just a bot bad. Okay. After this game, we might call it for the night just to maybe queue up tomorrow and try to earn some uh try to get some human matches. This is so big. I'm, I'm just like zoned out completely. Uh, two, two. It's a uh, got puffed by the mark. Okay. Uh, I can actually just do this. I can also do this. I don't think it makes any difference at all. So I'm just gonna run in and kill it. Ooh. Doesn't make any any sense. Let's say I could just kill it with my champion and make him run into it, but he can just kill it with his champion. It doesn't matter. This is what it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Right now it's time for possessed champion to pop off. He'll go down to one. So there are two marks here. It's like a 50-50 that he gets a mark that saves him. Definitely did not get the right mark. can't shoot him for zero and they can't flank for the warlord. Oh, uh, it's getting scary. Blood for the blood god. Well, you're just going to there, that's easy enough. Five, six. Okay, well, you always just do that. Very scary. That's just a better version of the possessed. Uh, might have to throw out the random on Holy Smite. Like 50 50 then on Holy Smite for that guy. 4 4. Or I can just kill him. That sounds way better. Why not just kill him? Lost to a bot. 
Oh yeah. That's annoying. Bro, can I get a card that I can play? Man, I was really true because market chaos, so I can deal one damage to random enemy. Not to save me. Everything kill on board kills me. I just lost to a buy. What the fuck? So that next time I will prevail. Mm, the Tyranids can be so scary. Can I actually keep gifts of chaos? Because I'm not getting any of my three costs. I need to actually stabilize. The Tyranids do seem awfully strong. They have some very strong abilities and like mechanics. Ugh. Okay, now I just play a plague ring. Plague Ring gets stronger as our other troops might die. He just got a big discount. What's he gonna play? He play a five cost. Oh no, he did. He got a Carnifex. He got a Carnifex. I don't like that at all. Enough to kill, yeah, kill that guy. <laughs> and then maybe the Demonic Fury, because he'll have two buffs on him. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, six, or 6, so he hits for 12, which is insane. Don't tell me you don't play anything. Okay. Get a little term termagant swarm. Not that big. It's fine. We deal with that just fine. Okay. I think here I definitely chew with that. And then hit you with another one. Okay, you're just very big. I didn't attack, oh, whatever. It's fine, it's like one damage loss. Um, unfortunately, you got two marks of corns. Really? I, get, I played the two random. Oh. No, because I get three randoms. Out of three randoms, I got a mark of ancient, two mark of corns. That's kind of rough. Mark of corn is actually like the worst option there. What do you do? Our troop dies, heal. Okay, I can handle that. Possessed Marine, play the Plague Marine, and then what do you do? When our troop dies, heal too. I don't like that. Oh, I did miss out on the Market Nurgle boss. Maybe I did play it wrong. I think I need to be more cognizant when I want my things to die. Um. I think actually letting this just trade off and then you get your Nurgle buff I think works out better for us. Oh, here's one of those dead swarm mechanics that gets old noxious. 
next time you can just shoot, shoot, and we're still. Oh no. Oops. Because he did order wrong. Okay, this is huge. Then I can finish there. Also close him a lot. Oh, of course. Of course I cannot attack a flying unit in melee. That would be ridiculous. Why would I think you could do that? I obviously can't attack the guy. The main guy. Oh, I think I should play the aspiring champion now. Relax. Now he has a few different targets to deal with. I just shot him and executed him. That probably made more sense. Alright, that's annoying. Actually, that's fine. Oh my gosh. Is he gonna play part if he plays Nar Swarm on that? That's huge. Oh my god, execution. I just made accidentally big brain play. If he plays more of the gargoyles on that, just makes a big gargoyle. Come on, do it, do it. Is he doing it? He's buffing it. I don't think he's doing it because Gargoyle costs. Yeah, it costs three. I'm still going to execute him. I'm just not happy about it. It's not as exciting. I have to take seven for the like, privilege, too. It's really unfortunate. What'd you get? The Mark of Slanesh. So I attack you in melee. I'll just save it. Yeah, we can just save it. I'll hit you for two because you want to get this for free regardless. Is this champion good? Demonic Frenzy. Pretty good. We can play three gargoyles with that. Is an obnoxious amount of range damage on a flying unit? No, he's flanking you, dude. And then trading. It's not what I would have expected. Ooh, I like this guy. Okay, I'm actually just going to. Oh, that is three damage I get for one. That's a pretty good trade. My flanks can't do anything about it. Five, six, seven, eight. Helps attacks so I have them facing lethal. If you get Vanguard, I'm okay. Bro, we got Vanguard. Let's go. I can still kill it. Shoot it, you survive. Now I, now I can't actually kill it, unfortunately. I'm gonna play you out. Five, six, seven, three. Five, six, seven, three. Oh boy. I need to do that. You just gained a bunch of melee attack, which is not helpful right now. 
All right, he can still very easily win, but there's enough in his way that if he can't directly affect the board state, uh, I survive another turn. Well, that's not good for me. Draw my execution. Did I already play my execution? Can I just draw execution, please? Okay. Deal two to four damage. Not good enough. I have no market chaos. I can't market chaos. A guy. Deal one damage to random enemies. Not good enough. Yeah, I think I'm just dead. Because I can't fly. Yeah. Matter what, I get seven now. Well, if you get Vanguard again, I can continue to. Oh my goodness. Just abuse the game. Yeah, I need to hit you. Then, I mean, no matter what. Uh, GG? Because he can buff him? No. Okay, if he has any kind of direct damage or significant buff or flank or anything, I'm pretty, I'm pretty dead. Is he gonna buff? That's synapse. Synapse means when you buff it. Oh, that buffs his neighbors too. So I should buff that twice. Oh, does he just barely get it? No, because he has two armor. So I should buff it twice. It'll be up to eight. But I'll only when you attack in for six damage. Because the armor. So he needs another buff or another damage source. No! <laughs> oh my god, he has our buff. Which then let him do a ranged attack. Oh, GG. That was close. That was so close. Down to the last cards in hand and some RNG. Okay, I'm not mad about that one. That was a really close fight. That was a really good match. That was the 3 3. Well, that was actually the worst run I had today. What do you know? Let's resign. Alright, drafting a deck. Now, the. Tyranids are really strong, have a lot of really interesting things, but I've never, I haven't seen anyone play Eldar yet, so I'm actually going to try drafting an Eldar deck. I haven't seen anyone do Eldar. So this is Medriel Galen, she gives us free Storm Guardians. We have the Shuriken 1 ability, and Shuriken is when you attack, you deal the Shuriken damage first. It's like a first strike, but it has its, like a special damage number. And let's see what I can make with this. And they also have the Spirit Stone mechanic. So Spirit Stone mechanic, when you play a unit, if you have the, if you collect the Spirit Stones, uh, you get Spirit Stones off things dying, then you get a bonus. Avatar of Cain, eh? Wow, you're strong as it, you're strong yeah. The Wailing Doom, speaking of this, the Cain, the Fire Dragons, yeah, it's like a Cain thing. Eight damage to an enemy, four damage to adjacents. Waystone. Last three. Nice shade interceptors. No. No. Flying. Deal three damage to enemy if it has flying at six instead. That could be really good. Uh, I like the Wraith Guard here. So take the Wraith Bone. I can take more Wraith Bones. Wraith of Wraiths. Another Wraith Blade. A Vengeful Wraith Blade. A Wraith Fighter. Flying. Flank. The flank seems so neat. Oh, it's so, that's, that's a lot of flank. I don't like this. Do I just get a second? No, I don't think I need a second one of those. I'll take the, the Wraith Fighter. Don't love that. Don't love that. Or Ranger. Camouflage Sniper. Deal 3 damage and stun. Okay, I like the direct stun and damage. And I like a Banshee. I like a nice flanking and also stuns. That's pretty good. Take that. Um, I haven't played any. I haven't seen anyone play Eldar yet, like at all. I think they're the least popular race, the uh, least popular faction so far. 
This is expensive. Choices. This is insane. Shuriken 8, Armor 2. This is on kills at Titan. This is unkillable. Uh, probably not. Don't want games to go that long. Flying Shuriken 3 is pretty good. Choose a troop. Flying Skyborne deployment. This is pretty, some really expensive stuff. Deploy two Storm Guardians. That could help us get more boys out. boys off the wave serpent that's so expensive but this is like not helpful really okay so it's not gonna be an early game choice they could go with the big slam down the slam everything down if i go with the wave serpent that's actually pretty decent okay we're gonna go here if I lose because I don't have a Wraith Knight, oh my gosh, I'm gonna give me Wraith anyway. Uh, I think it's Wraith Blade, Spirit Seer, Spirit Seal Cult, a special Spirit Seer. Okay, that's actually pretty good. That's okay. That's the Avatar King. Uh, I'll definitely take Eternal Vigilance. Because they're doing like a Spirit Stone build, it looks like. Okay, we could just make Spirit Stones? Oh, that seems good. Just trigger again whatever these spirit stone abilities are. I do like the Banshees. I like that it says Blast. I like that this does rally damage and is flying. Okay, I like those. Okay, I'll take that. Jetpacks, because we want to be fast, especially in this mode. A Shuriken 2 flank, that's really strong. A flank sniper's really strong. And just shuriken full of fire. It's not bad at all. Uh, don't want to burn stuff on you. Flying shuriken too. Not gonna have that many vehicles. I think we don't think we're going hard on vehicles. I'll take that. That's good early game. Dude, this beyond death is showing up like every time. It really wants me to take a that wraith knight. Flying flank strike gain involved. That seems insane. Flying when you collect spirits don't deal. Oh, that's also good. Witchblade. Deal 1 to 3 repeat. Uh, okay, I think I'll take Justified Pride. Another Howling Banshee? Probably. I like the Howling Banshee. This guy's pretty good too, though. The Firehawk. Don't like this one as much. Swooping Hawk's pretty good. I like this. It flanks. I can stun, I can flank, it gets a waystone out. Yeah, I like the banshees. Okay, now my last pick is at the friggin' Wraith Knight. Once we take this Wraith Knight so bad, but I have my high end is already a Wraith Fighter. Draw a bunch of stuff to get a bunch of boys out. You have a tank. Kind of weak. Kind of weak. This is insanely expensive. So I'm just gonna make my deck just unusable. This is Vanguard. I think Wraith Guard. Yeah. Yeah. I think this one's a Switchblade or Warlock. Okay. Let's see how this works. I don't know. It's 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 their Eldar. Are they good? I don't know. I like you. Do I just keep this opening hand? It's actually a pretty good curve. There's a lot of answers. To whatever Marnie is going to try to do, if anything. Cleanse this place. We must Choose an if tree. Fun. Save that until I feel like I need something. Can I see? Nope, I can't preview what the options would be. I could just deploy a free Storm Guardian. Which I'd rather just like take advantage of this shuriken. And then sure, punch in the head.
I got all my vehicles. I didn't get my spirit stones. Oh no, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I've imbalanced my deck too much. Hey, you don't need to have armor to be effective. can also just put out my storm guardian. This is such a problem because I don't know what the same Hain infantry could be. They're just all Eldar. That's just the name of these Eldar. Okay. I can collect my own spirit stones. If I just do that. I got three damage. I get a spirit stone. I can now spend that spirit stone to set up a viper. Which doesn't require the spirit stone, but I don't want to play the earth egg at all. Because now it's the flying. Which does six damage to whatever attacks in range. Three damage first strike. Even. I just don't need to worry about producing that many waystones as the character's skills to produce units that make the waystones. Well, I'm mostly relying on jet bikes right now. Guardian, and then the Wraith Blade. I have returned so that the crop world may never fall. Two armor is no joke. So it doesn't get the ramp though, but it's still no. Problem. Three, four, five. You have sure. You have sure kill him. We can kill him. We can stun him. We can stun him and kill him. Three. Yes. We want to take a little bit of damage for it. I think. I think that's fine. Three, four, five, six, seven. What else do I want to play with that? Oh, you? Wait, what if I just... Three... Why else am I playing with three? Oh, another boy, of course. So I do this. And then I just... Snipe you. That's way better. Strangle them like the seven. Unless we play another armored wraith blade. Okay, solid. Sniper means if you kill your target with the range attack, it will not retaliate. So I get Spirit Seer Kalinaris out with my, with one of our Spirit Stone players. That's like three extra Spirit Stones. How dare you. Death won't take me without a fight. Okay. Oh, he's flanking me. That's fine. Why am I blinded? 
codex again. Oh my gosh, that's still fine. Shuriken will still kill him. You don't have Shuriken. Never mind. Blast, choose a troop it costs less. I can do five, six, seven. It's actually pretty good, and we clear the board. Yeah, this is fine. I should be happy with this. Can't. I have a setup here to get a lot of stones, but I don't have anything to spend those stones right now other than the webway gate. And I should just play this to see what I get. Now that it's late enough in the game where I, I can take pretty much whatever. If Marnius wants to play his turn today. Tonight, maybe, sir. Salt Centurion. Scary boy. Scary boy. Guess who's gonna get stunned a lot forever. Six, seven, eight, two, one. Alley Banshee's solid. Still Scorpion though, you for five? Flank abilities. Give me, give me my stone. Thank you. Painful, but it's fine. It costs two less. You then, Vanguard. No armor, that's fine by me. Okay. I didn't attack my guy, but that's fine. I don't really want to take that much damage from the, the Centurion. have some big scary things. Maybe I should have taken that wreath night day. Especially if I have ways to build armor and spirit stones you can like just delay the late game and throw out those big giant crazy Eldar or after arcane type stuff. Alright he has some damage that's fine. We have blast I'll just one shot him. Stun you probably wanted, or the blind you probably wanted. Oh, your flank boy. Blast five. No, gain blast five on two spirit stone. Still, eight damage flank is really good. I just melt that dude, kill his friend. Um, six, seven, eight. You just attack, attack. I want this. This gives me a bunch of spirit stones. And then you can run into this guy. He's now dead. And we're in a good spot. Oh, I can even get a free boy out. To get more spirit stones. But uh flying flank blast five eight range. That's very, that's very strong. So it'll be very good for us. Or I can just do two to six tall enemies. Oh no. My forest here, whatever. Yeah. Happens. Oh, I get that spirit stone off that too. 
Oh, the spirit stone. We're swimming in spirit stones. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank. Oh, give me num 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 num. All right, five spirit stones. Let's do. I don't want to do two to six. This, this stuff actually seems too weak. Actually, blast five. Just pretty much, almost. My vengeance comes. It will be swift. This cannot be. Oh yeah, you're flanked. Duh. All right, that's a that's a big problem for him to deal with. Bench mass damage in our pocket anyway, so he's just dead. Yeah, he's, there's no way. We also have Eldritch Storm, which repeats. There's no way. Yo, I actually kind of like the Eldar. One strike is all I need. Guy sounds like the boss from the IT crowd. Character's name? Definitely don't know the actor's name. Wow, he actually he, uh, solved the problem and now to get that kill. Still dead though. Still dead though. Still dead though. Like, still stupid dead. The Elder Storm gun. Wonderful. Wonderful work. Alright, that's a fun deck. I really like that deck. That's an interesting deck. Let's battle some more. Maybe Eldar are my faction in this game. I like I really like the idea that they get the spirit stones that they can collect to empower other cards. But that your opponent can also attack the spirit stones themselves to destroy them to prevent that from happening. I like that. You have camouflage. You give me a waystone. I like you later when there's more distractions to protect you. Because otherwise the warlord just kills you. You're a bot. Cleanse but this place. I did we lose that bot that one time. So I can't just sleep on this. And just put out a... Guardian and chill. Okay, the, he doesn't want to clear my spirit zones either. Oh, you fools. Done. The warlord. Flank the guy. End our turn. I think next turn we do the webway entrance. Try to get a uh, something to fill space here. We got this, this flying flank though. It's a double Eldritch Storm time. I'm only on five. That's my entire turn. Two to six. Or three. Four, five. Three, kill him. Play the regular boy again. Yeah. Or better yet, do that. I'm just done. And that actually sets him up. To get killed in a witch fire. 
Let's go Warp Spider. Or in a double whatever storm. Veteran Guardian. It gets a Shuriken. Oh, Wraith Guard. Yeah, yeah, give me the free Wraith Guard. This is going to cost two. That costs two. It should have two. Depends on what he does. What the bot does regarding Spirit Stones. Yo, if I'm facing... If I'm fighting Eldar, I'm clearing these Spirit Stones. Oh, he did it. storm now. Excellent. Huge. Just full clear. And I have more spirit stones on the way, BB. Stone. I don't have enough for the Hemlock Great Fighter to have blast. He killed my race stone, dude. But what? I didn't expect that had behavior. Four strike given vulnerable. Five attack, that's four. I can then play another four, so I got a Wraith Guard. Do I have another flank? I do have a flank but needs more stones. Hmm. This is a, a rough turn. Because I need this thing to go, it's too strong. I am the bloody blade of the king. So I can do that. You're dead. But now you should be invulnerable. Unless I I must have misread how that works. Whoops. I'm glad I know now. Now I know better. Shall. Two range attack, two health. Three for five. I think that's better. I don't need Vanguard though. I think you're actually better. That was a long turn though. You have, to, you have to do a lot of plating with this. These spirit stones out here. Oh, not scary. Throwing a spear makes me giggle. It's it's insane. Are you still camouflaged? That doesn't do any do you any good, Barrow. I'm sorry. Sorry to say. That that's fun to use, but this is just too strong. Alright. Yo, are 
these, yeah, these these Eldar are slapping so far. It was a Pharaoh bot again. I'm gonna be annoyed. It is okay. All right, it's getting real late anyway, so the population is probably lower. Um, I think I'll just take a little, little sleepy flu after this, and maybe tomorrow we'll be more players online. Let's just go ahead and clear this thing. That might even be a mistake, because it's so non-threatening. It's so low priority. I really should take advantage of the shuriken to flank for two. I guess that's basically deal two damage. That's that's pretty good. Okay, I don't know why you let him survive though. That's stupid. Yeah, you just get the buy is dumb. Actually, gonna summon a boy. Can I get any one costs? Do you think? No one costs. Another two. We have enough of wraith, wraith blades and wraith guards. Let's grab another waystone unit. Psyker stuff going on. But I get my spirit stone. I could have just flanked him there because it's good. Um. Give us good efficiency. Because I could oh, stun stupid. him, use four energy. What if I got two? This is two race stones in the near future. Although the sniper's very vulnerable, but they, I don't think they're going to be super relevant here anyway. You just shot my spirit stone. Get him, Skyrunner? Or do I even want that? Can I play a three? Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is way better. I play you. I have, returned. You have the armor triggered. Go hit him for three. Grab another spirit stone. Summon another boy. Hit him in the face. Hit him. I think the, the, the other unit seems so strong. Elder Arm, like, I feel like I'm crushing it. Oh, to be fair, I can't imagine the bots, so... Chill. Four, five, six, five, armor two and flank, that's crazy. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Yes, give me the bone. Oh. Also, you're pretty strong. Spirits here, six, six, seven. It's not bad stat line, so we got infinite spirit stones in. You don't have flank. Why did you give him? Like, why did you give him bonus attack? Get armor two. Yeah, you just run to this, didn't kill him. Slam into you. Slam into you. Summon more spirit boys. Oh, this this is this is so good. I like also this uh, character specifically that has you know, deploy. I mean, you get pay a premium, so one cost unit, but like, it's not a bad unit. And getting waystones for two? 
That also deals some damage. It's actually a pretty good deal. Okay, we just win. But first, before we do that, I want to... See if this synergizes. One to three terrain a minute. So if I get the bonus spear stones off here. No, it's just when you collect, okay. Scream at him. He's done. Alright, I'm gonna take a break here. So we're gonna wipe to probably maybe daylight. Who knows? We'll see. Probably don't even need one ranger if I'm not. Probably I don't need any rangers because our hero power summons a like a two-cost character for us. Cleanse this place. We must protect the craft world. Cleanse the place. I found a match right away because I figured in the middle of the week. I was concerned matches might be harder to find. Alright, we get our ranger anyway, just draw the ranger regardless. And have our Storm Guardian on us, so we're so good. So good, because it gives a waste stone, also if it survives, which it shouldn't. Um, it can attack for three with that shuriken, that's insane. I can't give me that. Is he going to fight? My waste stone, you mother... <laughs> you, you monster. I... You monster, how dare you? I need that armor. Alright, this probably won't be any of the ones that give him health. Good. Because that would have been annoying. Do I play? I think I just play the Wraith Blade even without the armor. Or I could do a flank. I don't need a flank sniper for this thing, so that's, uh, that's stupid. Can I choose a three cost that I actually want to play? No. No. Another Spirit Seer? That's such a beefy card. I'll take that. Because we have a pretty good curve up until then. That'll just kill this thing. So that the craft world may never fall. So unfortunately, you don't have the armor, but that's why I have to keep the tempo. We have to keep the tempo going. He's, that's a problem. He's a problem. That's a big problem. It's not a problem anymore. Oh, thank goodness. He can, he's just getting ruined on these, uh, these draws for chaos marks. Okay. I think I play my 4-3 or I play 2-2-2s, two, 2-2s. Two, twos, two, twos. It's a lot of 2-2s. Two, 2-2, two, I think I need more Wraith. I need more Wraith Stone. Ugh, but this Witchblade Warlock. What's this, what's this uh, Witchfire? Can I please, can I please inspect the card? 1-3, repeat. That's pretty ass, honestly. So I'm gonna play the Ranger. I'm gonna play the Storm Guardian. It's going to be harder for him to deal both of those and clear the spirit stones. Which put us in a decent spot. Obviously, he's afraid of the sniper. It is very strong. This thing still represents three damage, though, which I just. It's crazy. Ooh, he's a problem. Deal one, two, three. That actually is so good for us right now. What do you do? Flying sniper flank. That's actually really good too. Do do. Yeah. Okay. Here's what we do. We just do this, and then punch in here. Gotta collect the spirit stone. We then drop you down, snipe you, and then summon another waystone boy. Amazing. Nice to take three to clear this. He can't attack in melee because it has the flying rule. What are you? Who are you? Who are you? Okay. Not too big of a deal yet. That, okay, never mind. Much bigger of a deal. Oh man, now what do I do? 
I think we just start popping off. Because we're going to throw down the spirits here. The six, six, seven health spirits here. So then we're going to grab two stones off that. And now I have a ton of spirit stones to do whatever we need. Yes. That one's actually not that big. Plus two, plus two for two spirit stones. We get two to six damage. Get it cheaper. Just stop doing that. Deploy Wraith Guard for free. The armor too is insane. Yo, he's going in on this thing. Okay, this is all fine by me, honestly. I can stabilize from here. 16 health. I'm not feeling that threatened yet. And he put a bunch of resources into this thing, which is just going to die. Yeah, dude, I'm fine. What are you doing? Why do you, why do you think I'm scared? Four, five, six, seven. All right, so first, we just kill you. That's for sure. And then we're going to deploy a Wraith Guard with armor. And I'm going to deploy a Wraith Guard. Yeah, now we're doing fine. Wait, you're a Wraith Guard. What are you? You're a Wraith Blade. It's a slight difference. And he has low on cards, we have total control. That was psh, easy. Assuming he doesn't have 12, like, direct damage, which I don't think he does. But we do need to win. I mean, if he has, like, a big 10, one of those big crazy 10 costs, like, it's not, not necessarily out of it completely. He's just going in face for three, to take three. Why are you doing that? Okay, now I got lots of things we could just do. Okay, so I don't want you to die. Where's your talent? Don't you give me... No, you summon. You give me the talent, Witchfire. I should have used that. I did not use that. So, let's... You don't need to do anything, so you can just go ahead and actually just trade. Give me my Spirit Stone. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, delicious. And then you will only take one damage from this guy, so you know what, just run in there. And now let's just put that, slam down the, the biggest boy we got. And then an extra boy, and I don't need to waste damage right now. Yeah, I think I'm okay chilling on the damage. We got, you're going to be doing damage to Storm Guardians with, off this thing. We're going to have the blood flooded. The blood flooded, the board flooded. Still have some control, still have AoE damage. Spend all your, oh my gosh. The Wraith Guard. I can just... Suicide you into here? Just to grab a, a stone, which gives me extra stones. I then just off you. I then play another vanguard. Just make sure we have plenty of vanguards out. And then we deploy two more storm guardians. Let me just shoot you for some damage because we're this game's coming to a rapid close. And actually, you know, you, you can go too. We don't need you around anymore. Thank you for your thank you, thank you. Ah, oh, give, give me the stones. All right, lethal, well represented on board. Um, I we are insanely strong. See so if we can do anything about it. No, he cannot. I serve the job gods. I love these wraith bone constructions. Guess if he gets the vanguard mark, maybe he can hold out for another turn. Maybe I oh, think he can't. He really can't. He's really efficient for it, but it's not gonna be enough. This, both of these dudes do three damage. Okay, well he's dead. Never mind. He's he's fishing for this vanguard sword. Can I grab this? I want this. Even though it's not my turn, I don't care. I want it. He did. He got vanguard. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Oh geez, how do I solve that? 
Ah, oh, if only there's something I can do. Um, I want to do this first, because this is fun. Oh, it worked. Sweet. Let's just, let's just shoot him. Nothing kills him. Nothing kills him. Alright, just whatever. Go in there. Yo, strong dick. Let's go, Eldar? I don't like Eldar on the tabletop. I don't like Eldar on the fluff. Not really a space elf boy. But I'm really enjoying these Eldar mechanics, like, in the card game. They're really cool. I'm really into them. I promise. You can watch the VOD. Ultramarines are very scary. Absolutely replace. You know, replace all this. Replace the whole thing. It's not what I want to see. I want to see some vanguards that... I want to see some waystones. I want to see vanguards. Th this is terrible. This is awful. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. Cleanse this place. We oh, must boy. Protect the there we go. That's okay. Okay. This is a much better start. He's just going to use his freaking AoE. Oh, no. Only does one damage. So it, it, he's not going to use X. It won't do anything. I guess he can... If he... Say if he attacks and then plays it with the one damage AOE, like kill it? Is that a is that a thing that can happen? Oh, let's get up our armor. And then make sure this thing can't get away with attacking me without dying. Oh, the howling banshee, I love the howling banshee. It can stun, it flanks, you can flank it into something that can kill it and they get their waystone on your turn without your opponent able to do anything about it. We are the sons of one codex, one random damage, huh? Good place, good place. All right, good codex place. Honestly, legit. Not mad at it. I'll be able to play a sniper and have you do something. Instead, going to stun you, and then just punch him in the head. Five is gonna be a turn five is coming up, it's gonna be awkward. I don't really have much at all. I don't have any spirit stones. <laughs> Playing this without its buff is gonna be awkward. Ooh. This This is wild though. If I just get out two rangers. Maybe just have two rangers. I just conserve our cards a little bit. And I go like this, and I go ahead, he's just gonna kill this thing. Like, there's no way he doesn't kill you and take two. But if he does that, he doesn't kill the sniper. So I'm actually going to not attack. This is a bit of a risk. But I want to make him, because if I attack now, it dies. And then he kills the ranger for free. Doing it this way, unless he has some other direct damage, he has to choose which one goes down. Okay, so the sniper gets a free kill. And, still get this. Flying flank shuriken 2 means it does 3 damage. Prior to things. So you just snipe him. He's down. I do... Actually, three damage. So actually, I do this. But that doesn't do me any good. Actually, we do this. You have shuriken two. So I just play you. Grab my, grab my spirit stone. And then you come in, shuriken it to death. And then I can play another sniper. And another path of command. And I have two snipers out. Plus these constant guardians. Oh, there's a swarm Eldar. That's um not. That's, that's not, I don't think that's much of a thing, um, according to the fluff, but I'm enjoying it. I feel like this is how I would want a, like, a guard, because Astra Miltarum guard, that's like my, you know, that's, that, that's my faction. Um, I would, that's kind of how I'd imagine 
it would kind of feel a play action built arm. You just have a, you know, you're playing a bunch of boys and you get benefits maybe for them going dying. You probably have some vehicle later game. Ooh, seven. Oh, what do I do about a seven? Which sounds, I'm like, actually legit. What do I do about a seven? I can summon three Wraith Guards. Which is not like a terrible idea. Do three, six. I can still kill it. That's insane. I can just kill it right now. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna summon a Wraith Guard. I'm gonna do three damage to it. Now I'm gonna do three damage to him. Now I'm gonna snipe him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a card, I'm gonna grab a Spirit Stone. I'm going to summon a new boy. And then I'm just gonna put him in there. Fantastic. Now his AoE is gonna like look real juicy here. It kills this, gets these set up to die. But we're still doing we're still doing alright. Our our power levels are a little low. Courage and honor. I could set up a little differently because it is just it's not the whole thing, it's just one character and it's like the one next to it. Um, flying flank blast five is crazy, and I do just want that out. So I'm doing that. Pew pew. So he's dead. Takes five. I shoot him for five. Just clear you for easy damage, and also get me a spirit stone. And he's gone. Oh, this the Eldar are sick. What the heck? They're so good. They're so good. All right, we can do another one. What the? Oh, no. I don't. Literally the first time I fought against an Eldar. Uh, Shuriken three flying is really good. Kind of slow. The Ranger's just too slow. And you know what? You're kind of slow too. Two double Banshee. I like the Banshee mask with double Banshee mask. <laughs> All right, we just gotta do what we can. Literally, the wait, wait, are you a bot? Oh, it's a bot, my stand chance. Although last time I said that, I died. Oh, good, so it's a stupid play. Whew. And that gets me a waste stone too. Oh, and this will give him a waste stone. Unless I burn a whole card to get rid of the waste stone, which I don't really want to do. Man, I can see how that feels bad to play against. Be like, I want to use an attack to stop them from doing this, but I don't have the attack, and then he gets armed. So the world may never Three damage will do one damage. Ugh. All right, we have a wraith blade. I have a wraith guard. Do again flying when you collect spirit stone. Okay, how many spirit stones are now? What are you? He's a green man. Oh, shuriken scorpion. Waste stone stealth shuriken two shuriken two is kind of scary. Okay, so you just off him, of course. Boom. And then we play oh, shuriken her own viper shuriken three viper. Yeah. Oh, maybe the Warlock Skyrunner. It's just, I want it when I have Spirit Stones up to collect. I think I should just play our... Play that. And the Ranger. This sets up decent amount of power. Gets more Waste Stone potential on the field. Do I have anything that can attack me? I can attack. Gets more Waste Stone potential on the field. And is more efficient card-wise, because that's basically our hero power. The, uh, the Storm Guardians here. Oh, he's mad. Eventually, even. This cannot be done. This cannot be done. Yeah, I can't. What are we talking about? Okay. Oh! <laughs> the 
this guy run or no? Um, you're kind of scary. Do I need to do anything about you? Because I can. Now it's down to two. I can just scream at it. That put me at three, which is kind of not... Doesn't feel good. I could just leave it. I can eat six. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I just leave it, actually. And turn. Six, it can't attack this because it's flying. It's melee. And I don't care if it kills these guys and hits me so well. Deploy right card. I didn't have any stones for that. So that's just a four four. It's pretty weak. He didn't even clear. He's insane. He's he's a man, he's con man. Okay, and gain armor two. Yep, and flank. It'll have armor two. It'll take two damage from hitting here. What else would I do? Do I need it to do that? I don't really need it to do that. What else could I play? Ooh, five, six, seven. Okay, so we do instead. Play you. Yeah, you go in. You die, I get a spirit stone, it might just kill you. Yes! Alright, and then we just summoned another guardian. We did give him our spirit stone, though, that's pretty bad. That's actually really bad. But we have some decent power here. Oh, you just. Excuse me? You just have eight spirit stones now? But kind of didn't do anything on your turn. That doesn't strike me as actually that good. That's your entire turn. That doesn't mean I need to take advantage of him spending the entire turn to do nothing. So that will mean if I attack you here five, you take two. If you be at three, that's fine. If I attack you here, you be at two, which is vulnerable to counterattack unless I play. A vanguard, but I also want to play the wave serpents to really spammy things out. Wave serpents pretty strong in its own right. So play the wave serpent. Play the hero power. Punch. Attack for five. Actually, just don't attack. I don't need to attack and risk this being killed easily. Ouch. That's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a beefy, beefy enemy. What's your shuriken? Three shuriken, three means you're dead. Or you can just fire person. I don't need to, because shuriken three is literally just, it's gone. I have nine. I think I do get the armor out this time. It's pretty tough, it's hard to get by. I'll then throw out a sniper. And our regular guy. And then you know what? I'll keep hitting you, because you're almost dead. You already went and turned. And for Keltok. You better have something big in there, because it's still don't get us on the side. Does something on my guard though. That's still not gonna be enough. One second one. Do I have enough damage to Bam. Trade. I can double trade. Five seconds. He's dead. He's dead, right? He has to be dead. Yeah, because that just kills it. Okay, yeah, he's dead. Alright, sweet. Good game. Filthy AI bot. Is he dead yet? I'm not even counting, I'm just waiting, I'm just clicking until he's gone. Okay, the Wraith Blade's really good. Alec Banshee's really good. Vengeful Wraith Blade's pretty good, but I really need the stones for that. Let's just replace the Alec Banshee. Ooh. Okay, we got a bot. Cleanse which should let us chill we must a little bit. The but not too much, as we found out. You are a fun character in the episode of the book. 
Um, is that the Necron book? The what? The Infinite and the Divine? Uh, I've heard it's very good. I have not read it, but I've heard good things. So I'm interested. There are just too many. So I really like 40k. Like I'm, I'm a big like and and why I'm a big like Games Workshop fanboy. Um, I like the properties, the Black Library, a lot of great works of fiction. There's there are so many of them though. They are so prolific, and I don't have time to read that much fiction. What? It's very awkward. Deck so far. He's doing a good job using resources to clear out my waystone. Yeah, he played his coin to kill my 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 stone. Yeah, plus two, plus two on the wraith guard. Or I could just fly. Oh, this is actually a really good flank. Yeah, okay, never mind. We don't need the vanguard, we don't need the armor. What about you? What do you have? Given vulnerable to adjacent tree. No, we don't need that yet. Let's go take advantage of the Howling Banshee power. Stun the warlord. Punch you in the face for very little damage. Trade. And turn. Alright. These Eldar cards are insane. Collect the waystones. We have a waystone. Flying, flank, strike, strike. So you'll have to attack and then give invulnerable, which is not that useful this turn for me. Okay, we're gonna do something maybe questionable here. We're gonna play the Skyrunner. Going to run you in there, collect your thing, and hope it lands where I want it to land. We did it. We're the best. I didn't attack. Whatever. Should be fine. It's another Psychomancer. And now someone's stunned. Hopefully it's my Warlord. It's not my Warlord. It's my boat. Oh, we can play the Spirit Seer. We don't need Spirit Seer without anything to gather, though. One to three twice doesn't do us any good. I think we get the big damage Wraith Guard out. With another Spirit Stone generating Guardian. The next turn I can play the Spirit Seer. Gather a second Waystone out of that. Hello, Destroyer. So frenzied, so he attacks automatically. Ow, my my friend. No stun, no stun. Alright, this is huge. This lets me... Five. You survive. Okay, okay, this is fine. I do this. And then run into you. Pretty sure we always gather the spirit stone. Yeah, because then I just attack here. Should have played Spirit Seer. Now that I didn't play Spirit Seer. Four, five, six, seven, three. I'm trying to think of a clever way to not just accept the mistake I made. I don't think so. So I just draw five freaking cards. That's just a little overkill right now. Four. I don't have an efficient turn without that. Alright, I think I just accepted that I made a boost and lost it out on the Spirit Stone for a reason. I mean, she's still a 6-7. Six, uh, six, Let's choose a troop. 
I was hoping for. Not quite what I was hoping for. Flying Shuriken 3. I guess I can take you for next turn. And then... You just perish. I don't need you to just perish. So we're going to play this. I'm actually going to play the unbuffed Wraith card. Have it. it does clearly clear run it. I don't want any shenanigans. I'm the Eldar. I'm the only one with a license for chicanery here. You can't afford it though, Oricon. You're not going to be able to afford it. And you have no. Oh, do three damage. Yeah. Okay, 1 hit 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Almost lethal. Hold on. Definitely almost lethal. Or. Because I grabbed this. Okay, there's a couple different ways we can do this. 6, 7, 8, plus 5. Okay, we can do it with the Wraith Fighter. Could potentially do with an Eldritch Storm. That's only three damage, which is not enough. But if the Eldritch Storm misses, I can do it. What's more fun? Eh, let's do the Wraith Fighter, because I already. Ah, let's roll the dice. So if I play Eldritch Storm. Not quite enough, but we can just do that. Dude, just get these the Eldar make this game too easy. They're too good. They're too powerful. They're so good. I love them. They're so fun. This is this is a strange feeling in every other property of of like 40k things, bunch of tabletop games, video games. Those are the main two types of games. Uh not really a big Eldar fan, but in this game I'm they're like they've been my favorite part of this demo. I'll probably be playing this when it comes out for sure. Uh the 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 mobile pre orders open at the end of the demo. I don't care. Cause if I have time to play games I'm not on my phone, I'm at my computer playing games. Right? So if I'm on my phone I'm like working. Um so it'll be on, on PC that I'll play it, but a lot of fun. Hopefully it's one as well, and I don't end up getting bored of it. I usually just get bored of guard games because I get tired of the meta, and I get, it, it gets stale, and I get bored. But we'll see what happens to Warforged. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.